Tunatry presents 10 Most Shocking Animal Mutations Number 1. A Hexapus? It appears that octopuses, yes, not octopi, do not always have 8 tentacles. Caught with a bunch of his brethren, Henry has only 6 tentacles. Since one unique characteristic of cephalopods is their ability to regrow appendages, it is believed that Henry should embrace Lady Gaga's anthem. He was born this way. Number 2. This adorable baby goat has double the legs it should. In addition, he was born a hermaphrodite with both boy and girl parts. His deformities were not survivable, as he was unable to walk. Experts believe he unsuccessfully reabsorbed his twin before he was born. Number 3. A lot of dogs do just fine after one leg is amputated, even later in life. It gets tricky if two are not functioning properly or are missing, but some dogs can adjust. Especially if they are born that way and don't have the chance to experience life with all four functioning legs. Introducing Faith. Abandoned by her mom as a puppy, she was adopted and given a chance at life. Her front two legs didn't develop properly and never functioned as they should. She couldn't walk at all. The non-functioning legs were amputated, allowing her to learn to walk well, hop on her healthy two legs. Number 4. Things just went all wonky in the egg for this snake. Instead of black, like rat snakes should be, this is an albino. In addition to its albinism, it is a hermaphrodite, and it has two heads. Named Wee, it lived eight years at the St. Louis World Aquarium after his owner sold it to the facility for $15,000. Number 5. Two-headed animals are so passé in the arena of mutants. Three heads now? That is still something not seen much. If one is found, it is unlikely to survive. So it is all the more surprising when a three-headed frog was found living in a garden at a nursery in England. Number 6. Just wait till this one catches on. Humans have manipulated dog and cat breeds for centuries resulting in breeding characteristics so exaggerated that they become unhealthy. Like squashed faces on Persian cats or pug dogs, what were once a distinctive breed characteristic, it's now almost a deformity that causes breathing and other health problems. Enter the Squitten, kittens born with a congenital defect that causes their front legs to be anywhere from weak to non-functional. So far, humans have had nothing to do with this genetic quirk. But if someone publicized this as the newest cute type of kitten to own because they hop like a bunny, the moderate form, or like a kangaroo, the severe form, it will become a new it cat, and then deformity will be bred on purpose. Number 7. Another two-headed animal. See how passé? This time, a pig. No word on if this one is a hermaphrodite too, but it does have three eyes, and the middle one He's blind. He's a little top-heavy and has to wear a special little helmet in case he falls over. Number 8. Kenny, bless his heart, is a mentally disabled white tiger who is deformed and cannot close his mouth. A product of forced incest, siblings were forced to breed by an idiot who was hoping for coloration like Kenny's but instead got more than he bargained for. Kenny's brother was born cross-eyed but otherwise okay. Number 9. Polydactylism is a relatively common mutation causing more than the normal number of toes. It also occurs in humans who can be born with an extra toe per foot or finger per hand. In animals, the most common species with this oddity is cats. Popularized by Hemingway, there is a colony in Key West that are descendants of a kitten he was given. They are probably the most famous example. Normal cats have five toes on each front foot and four on each back foot. The most common form of polydactylism is a cat with one extra on each foot for a total of 22. Unusual even among polydactylism is Jake, a cat in Baltimore with a total of 28 toes and a Facebook page. Number 10. Turns out there is a special name for animals with two faces without the other deformities that can accompany this mutation. Diprosopia. Along with polydactylism, 
Diprosopia is relatively well known to occur in cats. Most are unable to survive, but some are able to live a normal lifespan, like Frank and Louis, a Diprosopic cat who lived to be 12. Thanks for watching. For more, please subscribe.